keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still. Slower, but it's quiet. Okay. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. I'll keep a lookout at the door. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Bill, how's it going in there? We're getting there. A few more minutes. Another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Last one. Good. We gotta move. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me?
We lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. This is Downs. Yeah. It's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day.
running for our lives. Tori agrees. I think he's the same age as them silly girls. Arthur, oh, away with you, silly man. Oh, no, no. Well, if I was five years younger, or a thousand dollars richer, well, I'd marry you. Make a dishonest woman of you, I would. Yeah. And that'd be the best decision Good evening, Arthur. I ever took. <laughs> You're a fine woman. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. How's it going? Okay, I'll catch you later then. Let me know if you find candy. You're a silver tongue flatterer and no mistake. Oh, I tell the truth, ma'am. I must get back to my work. Here, Jack, I found you a thimble. Oh, thanks, Uncle Arthur. I drew you a picture. It's by your tent. <laughs> thanks, kid. We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. Morgan. In the ship. We're drowning in mud. For a man of the cloth, you have quite a way with words. Words are the very least of my problems. The very least. I'm sure. Evening. Good evening. Are you? Live. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. 